Hey guys, Daniel here. This video is basically more advanced into how to make biodiesel. And uh, I had some of my subscribers and friends ask me um, in depth how much kerosene, how much gasoline, how much DSC, and how much um, power service diesel clean do you need per so many gallons of oil, so to speak. So I made this video so all you can watch it and I don't have to keep typing out seven paragraph emails to everybody. So hopefully this will come in handy for y'all. Basically, I've got a chart that measures, measures from five to fifty gallons. So for five gallons of oil, vegetable oil or cooking oil, frying oil, that kind of stuff, you're gonna want a half gallon of kerosene, quarter gallon of unleaded gasoline, four ounces of power service diesel clean, which is this stuff right here, it's a gray container, and one ounce of DSC. That's this stuff right here. I get it from a company called Diesel Secret Energy. That's dieselsecretenergy.com. And you use one ounce of that for five gallons of oil. Basically, you just take it from there. If you're going to do 10 gallons, you double that. If you're going to do 25 gallons, you multiply everything by five. If you're going to do 50 gallons, multiply everything by 10. It's that simple. Other recommendations are an ultraviolet light if you're going to be storing your biodiesel for a long period of time. Uh, mount this light to the top of your barrel lid and let it run for a few hours and that will kill any bacteria which can cause clogging in your fuel lines and um, excess buildup in your fuel filter. So this you can avoid that by using an ultraviolet light. Another thing you can get is Diesel Secret Energy's water crystals. Basically, you'll take a filtered funnel, pour a few of these in, and as you're running your oil through the filter, these crystals will absorb water. And every once in a while, check the crystals. If they start softening up, then you can tell that you've got some water in your fuel, and you'll need to run it through a water block filter. So, I would recommend using that, so you don't get water in your engine, which can be very bad for a diesel engine. That's pretty much it. Um, uh, if you have any other questions, just feel free to contact me via YouTube mail, or you can uh, leave a comment on this video. That'd be great, too. Be sure to rate it. <laughs> so, hope this video came in handy for you guys, and I'll see you next time.